Good day grade 11s. Welcome to your first lesson on week 24. We are carrying on with Euclidean geometry and in fact in this lesson what we're going to do is we're going to practice the theorems that we learned last week. We're going to put into practice the fact that the perpendicular radius bisects a chord. So let's start first example. It says that we are given that BD is 10 centimeters OD, OD is 6 centimeters and OC is perpendicular to BD and it says find OC. So let's go through this again. Given that BD equals 10 centimeters, so they tell us that the whole of this is 10 centimeters. They say OD equals 6 centimeters. That's O and that's D. So let me draw in OD here. And we can see that OD is 6 centimeters and that tell us that OC is perpendicular to BD. OC is perpendicular to BD. Right, now from the theorems that we have learned, we know that since O is the center of the circle and OC is perpendicular to BD, we know that BC is equal to CD. Therefore we can say that BC is equal to CD why? Because OC is a perpendicular bisector of BD, right? Therefore, we know that BC equals CD, which is half of 10, which is 5 centimeters. So now we know that that is 5 centimeters and we know that that's 5 centimeters. But now we've got that beautiful little right angle triangle there. And as soon as we've got a right angle triangle and we've got the lengths of two of the sides, what do we think? We immediately think of Pythagoras. So now we're going to do that. We're going to say, okay, fine, we know that OC squared plus CD squared, CD squared, is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is going to be OD squared. Therefore, which side do we want? We want OC. So therefore, OC is going to be equal to the square root of OD squared minus CD squared, which equals the square root of OD squared is 6 squared, which is 36, minus CD squared, which is 25, which is going to be the square root of 11. And the square root of 11 happens to be 3.32 centimeters. Okay, so that wasn't too difficult. Hey, grade 11s. Let's try another example. This time they say, given O is the center of the circle. Awesome. And let's tell you otherwise, O is generally the center of the circle. But anyway, O is the center of the circle. PT, PT is equal to TV, which we can see from these little lines down here. But they also tell us that PT equals TV, which equals 8. So now we know that that length there is 8, and we know that that length there is 8. They tell us that OT is X, and TR is 2. Now the first thing they say is, write down the length of PO, PO, in terms of X, and then they say, find the value of X. So now I'm going to change my color so we can see that we're working with something different. And they want the length of PO. But PO is a radius. So do you realize that OR is also a radius? And OR is made up with X plus the 2. It's X plus 2. Therefore, we can say, well, OR equals x plus 2, but that also equals, happens to equal OP or PO. Therefore, PO is equal to x plus 2. Now it says determine the value of x. And now, grade 11s, and again, I'm just going to change my color, I'm going to use this triangle here. Because why? Why? I have this side here, which we've just said is x plus 2. I've got this little side here, which we know is x, and I've got this side here, which they told me was 8. So I have got a right angle triangle. And how do I know what a right angle triangle? Because this is a bisector from the center of the circle, therefore this has to be 90 degrees. So I can say OTP, OTP, angle OTP equals 90 degrees. Why? Because OT is a perpendicular bisector of PV 
therefore we've got this triangle okay and therefore I can say that x squared plus 8 squared has to equal x plus 2 squared and y by Pythagoras Pythagoras okay right please remember in grade 11s that the most one of the most important things in geometry including geometry specifically is your reasoning in fact I think there's more marks allocated for you giving the right reasons than there are for actually writing down the correct answer so let's go through this this becomes x squared plus 64 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4 so then the x squareds happily cancel, isn't that nice? And we have 64 minus 4 is equal to 4x. And 64 minus 4 is 60 is equal to 4x. And therefore x is equal to 15. So therefore the length of x is 15. Now grade 11's another thing. This is a typical, typical, typical exam question or test question that they tend to give you at the end of the year. But when they do that at the end of the year, they mean, they don't give you this hint. They don't say, write down the length of P in terms of X. You've got to work that out for yourself and they will just say, determine the values of X. So you need to start looking for things like that. And the more you practice, the more you will see it. Let's do another example. Now, again, before you look at this and go freak, 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 let's read all the information and then see what we can do with it, okay? It says, in the circle with center O, right, so we've got O, it says OT is perpendicular, OT is perpendicular to SQ, okay, so therefore that line is equal to that line, and OT, OT is perpendicular to PR, PR. Okay, so that's also perpendicular. So the whole of this is equal to the whole of that. Just putting it out there. Then they say OP. OP is 10 units. There's our 10 units. ST is 5 units. And PU, PU, where the hell's PU? Oh, there. PU is 8 units. Determine TU. They want that length there. Okay, so let me just highlight what we want. We want TU. TU, they want that length there. So now, if I look at this, okay, it looks a little bit scary, but do you realize that that is a right angle triangle? Wait, I'm going to change color again so we can see what I'm talking about now. We can see that if we're looking at this little triangle here, do we see that that there is a right angle triangle because they gave us that therefore we can find the length of this okay now you might think well that's not much of a good start but let's just see what happens okay so we've got that but then do you see also because we are very clever and we've worked this out that this side is equal to this side because of the fact that they're perpendicular. So this is also 5. Okay, that there, the whole of this, is also a radius. So therefore, that is also 10. So I could use that information and that information, and then I could get the whole of this. And then I could get the red by taking the whole of the blue minus the green and then I would get TU. Right, do you see it? Right, now grade 11s, don't freak out if sometimes you don't see it straight away. Maybe you think, oh well, I know I can get OU, so let me get OU. Get it anyway, because sometimes while you're busy working out the first bit of the question, suddenly you start seeing the second bit of the question. So let's do that. Let's just change colors to the green again, so we can be working the color coordinated. So we're looking at in triangle OPU, OPU, OPU. And we've got it's a right angle triangle because they gave it to us, so we don't need reasons. And we know that OU squared, OU squared is going to be equal to OP squared minus PU squared by Pythagoras. We're going to write that Pythagoras, Pythagoras, Pythagoras. Right, OU is therefore equal to the square root of 
OP squared, which is 10 squared, minus PU squared, which is 8 squared. Therefore, OU is equal to the square root of 100 minus 64, which is the square root of 36, which is a beautiful 6. So that's pretty cool. So now we know that OU is 6. Right. Now, let's change our color to our bright blue. And now we're going to look at this triangle here. And we know, again by Pythagoras, that OT, so in the triangle OTQ, OTQ, we know that OT squared is equal to OQ squared, OQ squared, minus TQ squared, TQ squared, Y by Pythagoras. Okay, therefore we've got that OT is equal to the square root of OQ squared minus TQ squared which equals the square root of, and again, this is 10, so that's going to be, so this is 10 squared minus 5 squared, which is the square root of 100 minus 25, which is the square root of 75. So the square root of 75 equals 8.67. 8.66, so it equals 8.66. So now the whole of this length is 8.66, but we know that the little green bit is just 6. Therefore, therefore, do you agree that the red bit, which is the TU, which we want, TU is going to equal to 8.66 minus 6, which is 2.66 units. And that grade 11 is how you use these theorems. So please go practice, practice, practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.